such a time as this. And welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness. The place where there will always be an honest witness of the gospel and God's word. We have it up on our Facebook page. A story that ran on Christian News posted December 26th of 2019. The title of this article is, It's Unbiased and Unchristian Zambian President Resists the Trump Administration's Push to Legalize Sodomy Under Threat of Losing Aid. Let me say that again. The president, President Trump's administration is threatening the country of Zambia with yanking their aid if, in fact, the country of Zambia does not promote homosexuality. Ugh. Lusaka, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. The president of Zambia is continuing to resist the Trump administration's campaign to decriminalize homosexual acts, sex acts worldwide, as U.S. Ambassador Daniel Foote threatened to pull aid to the African nation after two men received lengthy prison terms. President Edgar Lunga, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct, Lungu, defended the sentence by declaring that homosexuality is, quote, unbiblical and unchristian, close quote, and, quote, we don't want it. Close quote. Foot has now reportedly been recalled from the country as Lungu refuses to work with him and a replacement is not expected any time soon. You cannot ask a government to make a decision at gunpoint saying that because we are giving you aid, we want you to do this. You can't. Foreign Minister Joseph Malangi also remarked. So here you have the U.S. government. Pushing, demanding Zambia to be pro LGBTQ. Now, this is 2020, January of 2020. We are pro American. I am pro American. I love my country. But where my country is wrong, my country is wrong. Here is the president. The president of Zambia standing strong. But he spoke to us. Uh, we are saying no to homosexuality. Why should you say we're going to be civilized if we only allow it? Are you, are you saying we are very primitive now because we are frowning upon homosexuality? Even animals don't do it. Why should we be forced to do it? Because we want to be seen to be smart, to be seen to be civilized and advanced and so on. The U.S. is a big aid donor to Zambia, but the Zambian president said no amount of money could make him change his mind on homosexuality. A retraction or apology would do, but I don't know, to be honest with you, how far this matter will go. Because already you're tying it to aid. If that is how you're going to bring your aid, then I'm afraid the Western can leave us alone in our poverty and we will continue scrounging and struggling and see how we can get going. If the West, the United States, is going to tie this to our aid, then leave us in our poverty. We would rather scrounge. We would rather suffer. We would rather go without. Then sacrifice our Christian belief when it comes to the sexual morality depicted in the Word of God. Now that's a man there. That's a man. And here's the U.S.'s ambassador. Quote, my job as U.S. ambassador is to promote the interests, values, and ideas of the United States. Foot explained at one point. Wait a minute. Foot is fighting for you, American. He is, he is promoting his, our, the United States values by going after Zambia this way. Ah, he continues, Zambia is one of the largest per capita recipients of U.S. assistance in the world at $500 million each year. And these countries where we continue, 
where we contribute resources. This includes uh, partnering in areas of mutual interest and holding the recipient government accountable for its responsibilities under its partnership. Doggone it, if you're going to take our money, you are going to promote homosexuality. We don't care about your Christianity. We don't care about your belief in God. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Foot. He, he, he also said this. You can read the article. He says this. He also expressed Daniel, Daniel Foot, the ambassador. He also expressed concern that discriminatory and homophobic laws under the false flags of Christianity and culture continue to kill innocent Zambians, many of whom were born with the AIDS virus. Now. I didn't read where the government killed people. They they imprisoned them for a long time. But he said it, it is it is the false flags of Christianity to be against homosexuality. Boy, boy, boy. Look, Trump gets some things right. Our president also gets some things wrong. Someone should contact the religious organization, the religious office in the White House, and speak up for this. The you know the Christians that are surrounding the president need to say something. Just needs to be voiced. But in this arena, on this issue, I side with Zambia. Such a time as this 